All right, Marcus with the uh, Loss Prevention Group talking today about the uh, continuing levels of force or escalating a force uh, uh, or use of force continuum. How do we go up in that? Uh, verbal control is one of our uh, first layers of use, uh, use of force. We want to try and control the situation verbally, control our suspect verbally. If that doesn't work and we need to resort to some other tool to apprehend somebody, uh, the next level of force would of course be the pepper spray, my favorite tool, eyes, nose, and mouth. You want to subdue the subject, get them under control to take them into custody. That's why we're pepper spraying them. Not to teach them a lesson, but take them into custody and incapacitate them. If that doesn't work, then maybe we need an impact tool. Get that baton out, and we're going to hit one of those strike areas, get that person back. Again, we're trying to get that person into custody. The last and highest level of force, of course, the firearm, uh, uh, trying to aim center mass. We're trying to stop the threat. Uh, and we can do that uh, by using the minimal amount of force necessary to stop that threat. It's also real popular now, the Taser. We offer Taser classes of, uh, classes once a month. Um, taser, another great tool to apprehend your sub, uh, suspect because it incapacitates, incapacitates them, helping you get them into custody. Um, again, all of these levels need to be uh, uh, thought about for a second. We have to remember that when a police officer gets into an on-duty shooting, uh, he's on paid administrative leave. A security officer gets into an on-duty shooting, uh, uh, we're uh, basically out of work until the investigation is over. Cannot work as a security guard, so maybe our go-to weapon should be something like pepper spray, the taser, or the baton before we pull that firearm out, unless there's an imminent threat of death or great bodily injury. Again, pepper spray, a great, great tool to do the first